Today, we tackle a critical issue affecting the efficiency of small-scale food producers in the Solomon Islands, the coconut rhinoceros beetle infestation. These pests damage crops, reduce yields, and exacerbate food insecurity. We are Kesh, proudly sponsored by the University of Sydney, proposing a solution for our valued Pacific Island. The beetle infestation in the Solomon Islands has exposed significant gaps in pest management and food production. The beetle is endemic to the South and Southeast Asian region, feeding and breeding in areas with palm trees such as those prominent in the Solomon Islands. These have been reported to damage various resources such as sugarcane, pineapple and coconuts. Limited logistical challenges have hindered effective control measures. Biosecurity Solomon Islands sought emergency funds in 2015, but no new funds were provided until 2018. Often, resource allocation is influenced by geopolitical interests, leaving less strategic regions with minimal support. Farmers and local communities heavily reliant on coconut palms face income loss and food insecurity due to beetle damage, creating stress and production uncertainty. The decline in coconut and oil palm production reduces farmers' income and raises consumer prices. In 2018, $300 million in export earnings were lost due to the beetle infestation. Over 86% of Pacific Island countries and territories need help to develop farming methods and resources for biological control. We aim to offer a practical, immediate solution for farmers. Destroying beetle-infested palm trees can disrupt local ecosystems affecting nearby crops and leading to soil erosion and habitat loss. This can harm the overall environmental health. Methods such as only collecting data and implementing nationwide education systems have been employed to tackle the beetle issue, but they often had limited effectiveness, being unable to keep up with the species growth. Pesticides are also limited due to the beetle variants like CRBS and CRBG introduced to the Solomon Islands in 2015 and 2021, respectively. These variants require constant pesticide modifications, often of higher concentrations, which is unsustainable and increases the risk of crop damage. Biological controls such as introducing new species have more risk than benefits, as evidenced by past failures with the cane toad and plague minnow. Whilst the farmer program promotes the above contemporary solutions, our team prompts to offer a practical and more direct idea. Recent acoustic technologies demonstrate their acoustic monitoring systems, which use sound waves to study beetle behaviour. Similarly, we present as data collecting bioacoustic device that is equipped to emit sound waves, which influence the movement of beetles whilst gathering data in relation to weather patterns for analysis and prediction of pest control. These will be placed along the parameters of the farm to repel beetles and confine them into a designated area, allowing for easy collection of these pest species, ultimately reducing the agricultural threat. The prototype consists of an audio transducer and a sensor for data collection. Data will be stored on an SD chip to be read externally by the user. The device will mainly utilize solar power to enforce sustainability, but will be equipped with a recycled battery and backup. Wavelengths will oscillate between 0 to 24 kilohertz, held between 60 to 70 decibels, a volume which has shown to affect rhinoceros beetle behaviour and is negligible to surrounding creatures. Our prototype draws inspiration from Farm 21 cost-effective sensors that have been targeted to assist the smaller scale farmers. The cost of up to $2,000 for nationwide implementation of this technology is a worthwhile investment to ensure food security, sustainable farming practices and increased production. Partnership with Farm 21 as a long-term investment will provide farmers with advanced digital pest control solutions. By proposing our innovation to various companies, we would include these components for a combined cost of less than $100, emphasizing how cost-effective our solution is. Our solution addresses the agricultural problem directly and has positive implications for health and well-being. Research shows pest outbreaks have led to a loss of key nutrients, causing increased consumption of low-quality foods, with the World Health Organization revealing a rise in non-communicable diseases such as cardiovascular disease, diabetes and cancer. Whilst our solution doesn't directly address these health issues, we hope to break the cycle and encourage safe and healthy nutrients back into their diets. By ensuring a predictive model using sensors to analyze data trends of pest control, as well as actively repelling them through bioacoustics, low-scale farmers will be able to efficiently allocate resources where needed, increasing sustainability of land and minimizing pesticide usage. Furthermore, doubling food production and the maintenance of the island's main source of trade, coconut oil, ultimately achieving SDG target 2.3. Overall, our team plans to integrate digital technology with environmental solutions to create a bioacoustic sensor that mitigates pest control issues in the Solomon Islands, benefiting the community whilst respecting the connection to the land.